Welcome yes, back to more Path of Exile, guys. Be sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you do. I really appreciate it. Help out the channel a lot. Um, this series is actually almost over. <laughs> We're over the halfway mark. So, and I'm actually enjoying this build, so I kind of want to like just get to end game with this build really, really fast. I've been wanting to play it, but I've been like editing my videos, trying to get them all like, you know, get them all rendered so I can upload them this week. I kind of want to try to try to use my aura. Oh, I bought a. Uh, I didn't buy. It. I made a mana flask where it reduces mana cost during skills, which I figured was useful because I couldn't really make one that has like a, a mana regen, because I think that's actually one of the more rare uh, rolls. And I didn't want to blow through all my fucking orbs, my alteration orbs. I just figured 20% reduction would be pretty huge because, you know, a lot of my skills only require like 20 to 75 mana. So 20% of that is, you know, that's, that's pretty huge. So, you know, big pulse like this, I could just spam my abilities without really having to waste them. I almost died there. <laughs> Take those boots. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Where am I even going, dude? Yeah, I'm actually enjoying this build though so far. Um, resistances is pretty much capped. So hopefully I can get them capped by the time I actually get past the next boss that reduces my resistance by another 15 or something like that. 10 per 10, whatever. Hopefully. I might, like I said in my other video, I might just have to buy gear off the PoE website because I am really struggling on actually getting uh, gear for this character. So... Definitely, uh, it's definitely been a struggle. I need more mana. Here, real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need to go talk to that one person, huh? Good, that I guess, too. What's crazy about this build is like you literally don't have to freeze the orb. But like if you freeze it, it's just like a fuck ton of damage. Cool. Go back and grab my other stuff. Help me! Help us! Okay. Before, we, before 
now we can move on. Now I did manage to get like a six link uh, on one of my other characters for I think like 10 chaos, so maybe I can get lucky with this character too, I have no idea. Just have to see. Dude, my brain doesn't want to work today, I keep pushing two when I'm supposed to be pushing W. Oh my god, his health? There's no fucking way I did that much damage, dude. Ow. Crazy. Dude, that was like half his health in like no time. boss is actually usually kind of tanky. I mean, we're looking at 4,200 damage. That's with one power charge, I'm assuming. I don't know if that yeah, increases damage, though. I guess we'll just go with that one. I just realized this build's gonna be more powerful because increased cold damage plus negative 20% more negative resistances, if that made any sense. Because I already have. Where's that? Cold pen. It penetrates 20% resistances on an enemy. So if you add 20% on top of reducing their resistance by another 20, that's 40% negative, and the negative 40% resistances to an enemy. That's pretty damn huge, actually. That just means more damage. God, this thing lags my computer, dude. Holy god, what was that? What the fuck was that, dude? What was that damage? I'm a little confused what that was. 
Hello. Dude, I am so confusing what that damage was. That was just nuts. I got hit so hard. <clears throat> Wonder if it was these, because they do hit really fucking hard. Okay, those. Nah. He almost got one shot, dude. I definitely need a mana regen or something. This damage is crazy, though. I'm actually enjoying it. It's a little bit clunky, but it's enjoyable, though. Let's go see if we have anything uh, here. Looks like I missed them on the map too. <clears throat> Leg. Okay, so she's here now. You have any wands, please? Actually, let's check. Uh, delete, delete, delete. Oh my god, a four link. <gasps> oh, I could use it for this. The only downside about this and this is this has a double resist. So I would try to have to roll a double resist on here. Because I really, really, really need that resistance. What's this? Increased damage with hits and ailments. Scepters deal 20% increased damage. Eh, that's kind of lame. So what are these? Rarity. I already have a really good helmet. I think this is kind of like a best in slot. Because it's got a lot of stats. Hope I would like to double, re double resist that with health and energy shield and maybe cast speed, but... 79. We're never going to use that. I'll keep that, though, probably. Yeah. I kind of want to try to roll this, but I might do it, like, off-camera, just so I'm not wasting your guys' time, because I suck ass at crafting in this game, so... I just waste my shit for, like, no reason. <laughs> what the fuck is down here? Oh, yeah, that's that one, uh... Never mind. I forgot it's like the beginning of the game. <clears throat> okay. Let's go kill this uh, boss. <laughs> oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> that damage, man. Jesus, like he almost got one shot. And that was with a non-frozen hydrosphere. That was just damage. Oh fuck, what am I supposed to use for this? So... I need an abyss belt. But the belt says it requires you to have strength. And that's 41. I feel like if I was to take this off... Yeah. That's because of the red gem as well. I feel like... I feel like the strength one is probably still the way to go. It's 28 plus that. That would have to roll a double, dude. That would fucking... You're the gem vendor, of course. Uh, what do we have here? 29, 32, 29. 
That one's actually really good. 29 plus 47 spell damage. 32 plus 18. I almost feel like if I rolled one of these as a yellow, it could possibly be, be better than this one. But I kind of want to roll them with cold damage. So maybe I'll do that in the future as well before the next video. See if I can roll cold damage and roll something higher than 32 spell damage. Holy. These guys right here are usually really tanky, but he's just like dying, like super easy. Can't get through the door. Jesus, dude, he got, like, just wrecked. Same with him. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Why did you have to do that to be game? Like, why did you have to stun me? That's just fucking retarded, dude. Those big gate dude thingies, the ones that look like gates, they're really tanky. So to be able to kill them that fast is really, really nice. I hate that stupid portal. <laughs> Just one shot everything, dude. Get in the door. Get in the frickin' door. Not gonna level it anymore because I require strength. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck me, man. This is this is ridiculous, man. Like <laughs> it literally one shots everything if it crits. I'm assuming that's what a crit is. 
just instantly freezes and they just die. Crazy. Oh my good god. Ah, I froze instantly, Jesus. Look at that damage! That damaged dude. <laughs> dude, that's some crazy freaking damage. I'm just freaking mana hungry a, a lot. And I think it's because of my creeping frost because I'm shooting three of them. So it's like triple the freaking mana cost. Which I think is 75 mana, because, you know, 25 per. Like, you can see my mana regen is, it's, it's not really that good. Plus Hydrosphere sucks up mana, so yeah. It, it. Plus I'm using uh, this as well, which doesn't really require a lot, but you know. And so. Yeah, I'm just a bit mana hungry. But I definitely have the damage to not really, like, worry about the mana hungry. Just get my stuff out and just try not to spam abilities. And we should be good to go, honestly, so. Did I level? Okay, so. Let's see here. We need to go here. Area of effect. I'm assuming area of effect counts for Creeping Frost. Hydrosphere and freaking Vortex, because they all do AoE. And also, I need to go into health. Ten percent recovery rate, I think. And then AoE. And then we're gonna fill this out, and then we're gonna work our way down here. Grab that jewel socket and grab that. We're gonna start getting some freaking damage. Let's go this way to go see where this boss is. Can't even grab that dude. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus, dude. Dude, this build's got some fucking amazing clear. It's a little squishy, but it's not too squishy, to be honest. Not like what you would think. Look at that fucking damage, dude! Ow! <laughs> I was too focused on casting my ability. He's already in the next phase. 
just gonna run through here. I really don't want to deal with any of them. That froze instantly. And he's dead. Just like that, dude. <laughs> just like that. Oh my god, this build, dude. That's a triple... That's a lot. Let's see what this is. Armor life, evasion, yeah, I don't care. I want to see... Okay. Just curious what this chest, this belt is too. 72 armor, lightning resistance. That means I could probably drop that, huh? Yeah. That'll give me 50 lightning resistance. That's life regen, but I'm not really too worried about it. Holding a shield, knockback, cast speed, totem damage. Oh shit, dude, that's for my totem build. Hell yeah. Oh shit. That's cool. What are you? Fire lightning. God, if I get a little bit more lightning, I could just drop this and grab a fire. But I don't want to do that. Gain life per kill, blah, blah, blah. I really need to get resistance on here because 6%. I kind of wish that was like over 12. Yeah. Oh, well. Make humanity. I kind of want to grab that though, just in case. Let's go. Onwards. Let's go talk to that chick. <laughs> they almost died just by my fucking AoE. How much damage is that doing? 32... 30... Dude, is that actually doing almost 4,000 with power charges? That's nuts. I'm gonna have to check on that. That's, that's crazy. That's three power charges. I think I can only have three as well. Okay. Four. Yeah, that does some damage. So here. Yeah, that's doing over 4,000 damage with all power charges. That's crazy. I gain 1,000 damage with that ability just with max power charges. That's a huge, huge damage increase. And it's pretty much permanent as long as I'm killing enemies. That's crazy, dude. Crazy. Yeah. 
So there's one over here. Somewhere. Right. <laughs> this map's confusing. Can teleport to them and they die. <laughs> ah! Thought I saw this. Too much clutter. Oh, whatever game, don't do that. What is that? Sword. This way. Where'd he go? Ah, dude, can you fuck off? Come on, dude. Dude, this damage is fucking nuts. Let's drop that. I don't really care about potions right now. Get out of here. Too much I don't want these. Try these boots. Let's just drop that. Let's see what these are. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is gonna give me jewelry. I think so.
Fucking Jesus. Could that actually be a pair of gloves? Fire resist. Oh, dude. Dude. That might actually be an upgrade for me. Fire lightning resistance? That's a double resist compared to only one. And I can possibly get a green out of it because I need three green and that's already like... Oh, dude, that might actually be an upgrade. That might actually be an upgrade. Look at his health, dude. <laughs> dude, he's usually like... Stupid fucking tanky. He just got his ass handed to. Let's see what this red one looks like. Oh my god, my health. Holy shit, dude. Like I said, dude, these red ones are... Just gnarly, dude. The monkeys are crazy in damage. Crazy damage. But like, like I was saying though, with this uh, build, to kill one of those red monkeys that fast is really, really crazy because they are so tanky. Like even my totem build couldn't even kill that monkey that fucking quick. Should be almost to the next uh, the next map. God, I was all the way down there too. I don't know who's even alive. Did he not die? Maybe it's that that killed me, dude. This thing's fucking just mental. Look at that! Like, what? That's just stupid. Like, how dumb are the devs to, like, put that shit in the game? Like, that's, like, not even fair. Like, these spitting bugs are, like, the most powerful enemy in the game. So slow. Yeah, that that red enemy is bullshit. 